What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the Gamer here. Welcome to episode 4 of Saga Lock. Hopefully, you all had a wonderful day. I had a wonderful so day so far. Um, for once, I'm doing a day of, and it's kind of weird. I'm not used to doing a day of, so that's fun. Um, but yeah, so this episode, we ended up, or we're going to go ahead and get our encounters like we did in episode 1, but it's going to be completely different. I can't, I can't wait. Uh, but let me go ahead and discuss who our starter was with a vote tally of 9 to 7 to 5. Somehow we had more votes this time, which I'm actually super excited and happy about. Um, Persian ended up winning. So, yeah, we got Persian the Classy Cat. Let's go. He's 3'3", three 71 pounds. I would love that on my lap. Let's go. Um, we're going to give him a nickname of Timmy because Timmy actually had the deciding vote here. Um, members get two votes, so obviously if you want to become a member today and get double the power, you can do that. Um, any tier gets two votes, by the way. So you can literally do the $2 tier and you'll get the votes. Um, <laughs> just so you know. And he, or Jonas gets the War Turtle, so we should be fine. We should be fine. But then the games are like, ha 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 ha. And I'll be like, gosh dang it. Um, I don't even know what our moveset is, though. That That's going to be scary. That's the scary part, is our moveset could be awkward. awkward. Double slap, whirlwind, double team, and tri-tag. Honestly, tri-tag's not bad. I will take that. Double team is good, too, because then I can uh, use evasion strats, and so we should be okay. Like, the only thing i got to worry about is catching mons, I think. That's the one thing I'm, like, going to be most worried about. Oh, shoot. Told you the game was gonna be like, ha ha ha! Stupid freaking game. Of course it lived on like one HP. Naturally. But, what do you do? Can't control what the game does. Um, but we can see what's on the route. We can see kind of how we're gonna have to act and react. Uh, that sucks. Finally. Oh, farm edged. That's a weird mon. Like honestly, that's a it, that's not a mon you think of every day. How does double slap? Oh yeah, double slap is fine. Okay, so we can double slap things. Yeah, we can double slap things. Try to take a little bit more sus of that. But. I mean, that's a big difference. No, we don't want to use that. That's $4,900. And Tammy has no Pokeballs. Or no items on him. So it's just good. And that's a push. We need that. Give that to me, please. Um, but yeah, no, honestly, it's really kind of fun. So, I don't know what you guys have d done today, but today, after I record, I get to go get coffee with my sister. It's going to be great. Um, I'm excited for that. Um, and then I get to go to work, and then I gotta, I actually already took my quiz, so I don't need to do that. Um, I don't have much other than I have to start uh, a lab, or I have to start stuff with chapter six. So it's like, oh yeah, that was not a crit. Okay, so yeah, definitely double slap things. Um, is basically what we're learning. Just double slap it. And when you're going to catch him on. Timmy level 6, let's go. But yeah, no, honestly, it's crazy. So, like, I had to do a paper, right? And this paper was on Frankenstein and what genre Frankenstein was. And I was just like, oh, God, what genre is Frankenstein? Like, it can be classified as thousands of different things. And I think that was the point of the paper, was that... It's like not a single genre thing, so you have to put it into what it fits best. Um, and so I had to write a paper, and my paper was about how it's a gothic novel. Um, and I'll be interested to see how that paper goes, because I feel like I did pretty good on that paper. Um, school's important, y'all. Make sure you stay in school and do your thing. Um, but yeah, like, I think I did a good job on the paper. And like, I guess that's the best you can do, is like, just make sure you think, and like, if you think you did a good job, that's a good thing. Um, can I buy Pokeballs, or do I have to go wait? Do I have to wait? 
I know, I have to wait. I have to go down and then back up. <laughs> oh, this game is lovely. Um, but yeah, so like, I think I did a good job and like I try to do my best on the paper. Um, I'm also one that uses in-text citations a lot um, to strengthen my paper where a lot of people actually don't. And I've noticed that and I'm like, in-text citations are literally god tier. Like, I don't understand why some people don't use them because of what they stand for and how they act and how they are. Because an in-text citation allows you to strengthen your argument. Um, and it's just weird that some people don't use them. Uh, anyway, I'm sure you guys don't want me to talk about school all the time, but that's like the only eventful thing going on in my life. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, uh, I'm really loving like kind of being able to do other things and do stuff. Um, I keep saying um today, which is because I'm recording in the morning and not at night, which is a big difference. Uh, yeah, so I had some actually crazy events happen lately. Um, at work, I, <laughs> um, had somebody get, like, basically arrested in front of me, so that was crazy. Um, and it was like, whoa, what's happening? But actually, it's been actually really interesting. Actually, it's been actually, good job, John. Actually, it's been really interesting lately because I feel like cops have been more on the prowl lately. Um, which is not a bad thing. I definitely don't mind it. Um... But, like, the other day, uh, I was driving to the coffee stand, and I was going 33 in the 35. I know, going under the speed limit, what the fudge? But I was going through Black Diamond, so, like, it's notorious for cops being super strict and annoying. Like, I literally, like, got pulled over there for, like, going, well, technically, it was a school zone, which is... And that was like my only my only ticket, but it's not on my record, so like that's cool. Um, but I was going 34 to 35, and I'm like, bruh. So I was going 33, right? Um, and I passed the, the cop um, that was you know looking at it, and I stopped at the coffee stand um, that I go to because it was awesome. I got a free like peppermint like hot chocolate. I tried it yesterday. It was actually really good. Um. But yeah, so I got that. So, but the, but I, the cop literally like circled my car for no reason. Like, I don't know what he was looking for. I don't know if he was looking for like any like anything, but it was just weird that he just circled my car when I was doing nothing wrong. Um, Cause going 33 to 35 is not a bad thing, but okay. Um, but yeah, sometimes they do that. And it's really confusing to me. Uh, it's like trying to make sure their presence is known when they don't need to do that. Okay. Um. But yeah, they're definitely out there. Um. Okay, so let's buy some Pokeballs. Oh, I have to do this this way. Don't I? I have a lot more money to work with. Yay! Uh, I'm gonna go 25. I think 25 should be enough. Antidotes, 3. Paralyze Hills, three. Burn Hills, three. So now I have 1250 to work with, which is six Pokeballs if I somehow need them. Um, I highly doubt I would, though. But, uh, yeah, no, this is crazy. So, we're going to go out to go to Route 1, get our encounter here, see what we can get. I mean, Persian's a really good start. I really like the fact that we started Persian, so... Um, our encounter is a Krabby. Oh, that should be pretty easy to catch. Okay. It's the rare encounter, which I don't mind. So that should be easy to catch. Um, uh, let's hope at least. Because Krabby is not bad. Um, uh, actually, I have, I know somebody who wanted their, uh, name to be named, they wanted to be named after a Krabby. So, um, yeah, we can, I know what we can do. Okay. Oh, God. Can we kill this thing effectively? Or not kill this thing, we want to catch it. Thank you. So we're going to name this thing Maximus, because that is what uh, Thaddeus wants Maximus to be named after. Maximus. 
I mean, we have the first mon. That's good. Good start, good start, good start. Uh, then we got a couple other mons we can go get. Uh, hopefully, I mean, imagine if we could get a team of five. That would be amazing. That would be the start that we needed. Um, like last time. Because that team of a team of five, it, it does make a big difference. A team of three versus a team of five. Without a team of five, I wouldn't be able to beat Brock. Yeah, that's... The first time, that's my team of five was... Well, I guess I could have told you where my team of five would have been. Because it was Dodrio, and Dodrio would have done nothing. Uh, or no, Dodrio would have done a lot. It's a flying type, isn't it? I believe it is. I believe it's a flying type. Um, and then... I don't remember why the other counter that I missed. It was on this route, wasn't it? No, this... This is where I got Boomy. Um... Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> to be honest, I don't remember. I didn't catch it. Oh, Magneton! That's a really good mod. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Hold the phone. That's a really good Pokemon. Crit. Oh, wait. Oh, the level step can hit more than once. That's right. Okay, well, that's... Glad, I, glad the game was like, oh, yeah, by the way, that can happen. Uh, Magneton's a really good start, though. That's an electric type. We need it. Luckily, it does not have a high critical hit ratio either, so. Uh, so, for the fact that it has thunder, we should be okay. Ah, that was nine. I don't necessarily like that. But at least we know we can live a crit. Please catch, though. Magton, I need you. Okay, we can still live a crit. Game Boy Luke. Yes! Magneton! Let's go! What are we gonna name Magneton? We're gonna name it... Mega Worm. I forgot that the naming scheme has to include one. Because I'm trying to include from what generation it is. Oh, you can't even put one! <laughs> Numbers didn't exist! <laughs> That's great. Um... Wow. Numbers didn't even exist in Gen 1. Holy crap. Not what I was expecting. <laughs> oh, this game. Of course numbers didn't exist in Gen 1. That's only to be expected, right? Oh my god. That's funny. Um, what is this man gonna say? Ah, the coffee. I feel great. Oh, he's not gonna... I, I don't even care. Literally, it's optional catching tutorial, so why would I care? Um, okay, so going to Route 2. Route 2? How do I feel about Route 2? I feel decently okay about Route 2. I think that Route 2 is gonna yield us some interesting results. Um, interesting results indeed. Grimer. Our team is actually pretty good. Grimer is another one of those that, that should be s pretty simple to catch, actually. I'm not gonna risk damaging it. Let's go! Yeah! <laughs> we're gonna do this! Uh, Grimer, we're gonna name it Troll! Because it's Symbiotic Trolls! Mascot. Um, let's go! This is, I, I, this is actually really exciting because, like, I wouldn't have expected to actually have this, this kind of a start. Um, we're actually being successful for once. <laughs> Um, revive, great. Love pointless items, they're my favorite, y'all. Okay. And an ice, y'all. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I forgot freezes permafreeze in this game. So that was actually really good. Really good to have not deal with permafreeze. Um, yeah, okay. I'm very, very pleased with that. Okay, people, come on. 
Let's get a Pokemon. There we are. It is a Rhydon. Interesting. Don't know how I feel about a Rhydon, per se. Depends on how much damage it does to Persian here. Oh, we don't live at crit. I'm running. There's there's no reason. A Rhydon would be a cool mod, but we don't I don't want to risk it. And what a crazy note. So on that note, um we are going to end this episode off right here for y'all. Um I hope you guys had a wonderful, wonderful day. I'm surprised how fast we actually made it to Viridian after getting all five of our encounters, or four of our encounters, um, and just blitzing to Viridian. I'm gonna train up. Uh, and we will see you guys next time.